Hi folks and welcome back to Travels with Hannah and James where today we are on an adventure to the Isle of Wight. Our main objective is to ride the full length of the Isle of Wight steam railway but I hope you'll agree that we get there and travel around on the island in a pretty cool way. We're going to start off with a ride on the hovercraft from Southsea near Portsmouth. I was pretty stunned to read on the internet that the Isle of Wight hovercraft is now the only passenger service that runs year round using a hovercraft. So this is pretty special. If you haven't seen a hovercraft before the basic principle is that it lifts itself up on a big cushion of air and then glides along the surface of the land or the sea whichever it's on at the time. As well as being a pretty cool method of travelling, it's also the fastest way of getting to the Isle of Wight if you're a foot passenger, only taking 10 minutes in each direction. All the passengers are on board, so it's time to start the engines and get the lift fans working. As the pilot opens the throttle, the engines roar and we are literally lifting up several metres on a cushion of air. The hovercraft has absolutely no problems going forwards, backwards, or even sideways or turning on the spot. We're about to transition straight from the land onto the sea, and off we go. On the outwards journey the sea was a bit choppy, so you can see we had a bit of a bumpy ride. I'm not going to show too much footage of the hovercraft, as Hannah's made a dedicated video just for this. I'll add a link to it near the end of this video. A short 10 minutes later, after travelling at speeds up to 45 knots, we're pulling up into Ride Hoverport. Hover Travel are proud to display the Union flag on their machines, particularly as the hovercraft was invented by British engineer Sir Christopher Cockrell. Next up, we're going to take the electric train Island Line, but instead of taking it from Ride Esplanade next to the hovercraft, we're just going to walk along the pier and take it from the end of Ride Pier instead, just for the full experience. The Island Line have recently spent millions upgrading their trains from old London tubes to nice modern vehicles. In the time it's taken us to walk along Ride Pier and catch the train, the hovercraft has already made it back to South Sea and then back again to the Isle of Wight. For the moment, we're just going to ride a few stops to Smallbrook Junction, where the Island Line connects with the Isle of Wight Steam Railway. At Smallbrook, we had around a 45 minute wait, so we got chatting with the station master and I asked if I could fly my drone while there were no trains present. Apologies for my dodgy drone skills, I've only had it a few months and I'm still learning the ropes really. From above the station and tracks, it really looks like a model railway. Of course I couldn't resist, I had to try and pretend to be a train. really see the steam railway and the island line. Here comes our train and the loco for today is a Hunslet Austerity class named Royal Engineer. Uh 
We're having the full first class experience today, so it's a first class compartment and a picnic hamper. Some like desserts or something. Before the trains even moved off, we we're already tucking into our lovely feast. From Smallbrook, we're going to travel the full length of the line to Wootton. At Wootton, the loco changes ends and will pull us back towards Haven Street. You can see that on this locomotive, the cylinders, pistons and valve gear are all mounted inside the wheel frames. You can really hear the distinctive sound of the Westinghouse pump. Back on the train, I was really quite impressed by the quality, the quantity and the variety of food in the hamper. Yeah, we've depleted the hamper. That's all that's left. So here we are at Haven Street, which is the main base of the railway. And Royal Engineer is decoupled again to go and get some water and coal. There are quite a few things to do at Haven Street, so we didn't take the train immediately back to Smallbrook. Instead, we spent a few hours here. This is the carriage restoration workshop. The railway also has a really nice pair of Ivert Class 2 engines that steam regularly as well, although not today. Train Story is a nice museum showing the history of the railway with a collection of its old rolling stock. Oh. 
Oh ho, up on the cab. I'm actually hoping to be doing a cab ride on this railway in the next few months, thanks to a present from my dad. It's quite incredible to think that a steam engine is, well, not much more than a large kettle, and yet can pull such heavy loads. Here's an example of one of the trains that used to run on the island line. Royal Engineer is back, so it's time to jump on the train for the return to Smallbrook. But before we head off, a lovely opportunity to catch some pictures of Calborn, the first engine to be restored on the railway. Carefully poking just my camera here, not my head, out the window. Once back at Smallbrook, we're going to transfer onto the island line again to run all the way down to Shanklin. How amazing is that? Someone's really got some skills. From the station, we're going to walk to Shanklin Chine. One of the oldest attractions on the Isle of Wight, Shanklin Chine is a wooded gorge that runs all the way down to the coast. It's time for a spot of dinner at the Fisherman's Cottage. Everyone thinks I'm taking a photo! We had some pretty decent food here too. We've just got some time to walk along Shanklin Beach before we head back up to the island line and then back to the hovercraft. get the feeling someone's a little bit worn out. Just love the hovercraft. It's so cool that it can transition from the water to the land and vice versa. The wind had died down by the evening, so we had a much smoother return ride. Anyhow, I hope you enjoyed the video. I couldn't possibly finish without poking my camera up into the cockpit to have a look. There should be a link on screen to Hannah's hovercraft video. Please like and subscribe if you haven't already. 
and see you on our next adventure.